what's going on? We're here, Midwest Mayhem 7, Mexico, Mexico invasion. invasion. Yes. Yeah, I'm hot and ready. Joined by E2C Show. And we're here to give you guys some great doubles action. We're starting out with doubles pools for today. And we got a uh, Dan, Panda Bear. And, and, yeah, Dan. Oh, wow. Now, so Panda Bear and Snoople, I think that's the okay. one. Okay. And so I'm guessing Seth isn't here because now it's on Seth like the team, right? Yeah, usually I think they're static partners. Okay. From what I've been seeing mm -hmm. with some of the weeklies. Yeah, because um, I remember Midwest Mayhem 5, those guys just went in, got like top 8. They were just doing incredible yeah. stuff with Yoshi Little Mac. Ridiculous. Yeah, it's, that's, that team and that seems like just like a, a team damage, I'd say. Like they, right. they didn't kill power and all that. Mm -hmm, for sure. But it looks like Naoto finds other ways to team and it looks like he's going with Dan. Let's see how that's going to work out. Mario Little Mac. On Town City. Going up against Villager Fox. This is going to be volatile. I feel like uh, Fox isn't really uh, one of the one of the first characters you want to go to in doubles because he kind of dies a little bit too often. You know, he has really good uh, damage output, really good kill power, but if you get Fox off stage or you get him hit with oh, it's, a it's real a hard hit, yeah, it's yeah. over. Fox extremely light. And also, when it comes to, to Little Mac, he's also in the vile, volatile characters. He get those kills. He's like a glass cannon. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to say, like, if you just get him on stage, then he struggles. So but, I'd, I'd say they should get go after Mac. I totally get that, man. Like in, in doubles, you do you can see a lot more things like that happen where stocks are gonna go by a lot faster. A lot of things like now, just getting a quick F smash or an up smash in whenever nobody's expecting it. It's just gonna happen a lot more in doubles. He, because, yeah, he's playing the assassin role of the team with Dan. For sure, just sneaking and getting those kills that a just like kill? that. Are Two, wow, less than a minute. Are in, are in his last stock. Oh my goodness. They really need to take out. I'd say Cameron has to go for uh, Naoto because that matchup is. For sure, as, yeah. As I say that, he gets Joel Naoto. Paymaker. Getting another, get another stalker again. Yeah. But definitely, Villager can really polarize Little Mac if he gets him, you know, cornered into that ledge, get him off stage, throw some fairs or bears at him, and Little Mac might be done for the match. Some Boy Rock is too. It's like right there. He did, right there. That was a hard tech situation, though. And even then, Naoto could have been expecting the, the three turnups right there, and that would have been the stock because of the spike. Exactly. You see, Dan right now. Dan's been doing a really that good stock job. tank. You know, getting those hits, weaving in and out. You know, you've also seen sometimes where Dan's getting that grab and he's thrown to Naoto. Naoto trying to get the up B, you know. They're trying to see what they can do. And that's smart, you know, just trying yeah. is a good enough chance. Combo off each other and have that team synergy. Like the use of countering that Lloyd Rocker right there, actually giving him a little bit of a. Uh, Chance to get a hit. It, it was a little risky because maybe uh, Snoopy could have ran and attacked there, or you know, Panda could have done the same thing. And for sure. Oh, oh once again, the same way the last stock happened. Yeah. And it looks like Red Team, through the help of Panda Bear and uh, Snoopy, they're bringing it back slowly and steadily. But Snoopy needs to hold on to the stock if he wants to have a chance to take this game on. And I thought Snoopy was going to die there from the upbeat. You know how low the ceiling is? Yeah, I think one more down tilt to up B might actually take it for a uh, triple stock. Or even an F tilt. Oh, for sure. Yeah, Mac, Mac's just stamped out for knockback is insane. Yeah, once Mac gets you past like 110%, it's kind of that time where he's just looking for that forward tilt, that down tilt. Just trying to get that confirm at that point. Oh, oh triple with the tech though. And there's a side B actually sending Villager in the opposite direction. Oh, Fussle Save that Snoople. man. Oh, man. Snoople living on a prayer right now. This man's trying to hold on to that stock as long yeah, you, as he can. You could breathe on him, he'll die. Right. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, but there it is, just touching him. Yeah, upbeat. Oh, I did too early on that one. Mm -hmm. It looks like they were, they, they're they theorizing what they can do in team combos. They just haven't had time to execute it. Exactly. Right now, k -Open is online. Mm -hmm. oh. Dan right now definitely want to be the aggressor. You know, even though Nato has that KO punch, he doesn't want to be throwing himself out there too early in the match. Yeah, he's a, I say the, the win condition. Oh, oh, and gets hit by the Nair, I think. But Panda trying to find every single opportunity to get Naoto off stage just to take that stock. Yeah, Dan just saying, no, leave, leave my friend alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dan's just right. trying to fight for his friends right now, man. <laughs> like Ike out here. Oh. Oh. Nah, he's not going much. Oh, he's trying to try to get that. Uh, he's trying to finish it real quick. Yeah, Villager just living for so long. Not because of being like heavy or anything, just being so slippery and being able to just run around on that ledge. And you would think 2v1s are hard for like the, the one, but... Nah, right now it's just kind of a, it's a nuisance right now, just to see if they can take Panda Stock, or Panda Bear Stock. Yeah, oh, nice back. Oh. oh! But committing to a grab right there, Maybe the double you, tail. Was, you think that was bad DI, because he was doing the back row, like in that, you know, the control stick in that direction? Probably. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Also, another thing Panda Bear could have done right there is actually just waited for Naoto to go in and use the forward throw, mm -hmm. use that hitbox to get both players off him. But he was trying to get that stock. I respect it. It was worth a shot. Yeah. So either it's like, oh, Battlefield? Mm. I understand it. Actually, yeah, it. Villager. Oh, definitely. Oh, Villager and Fox. Yeah. yeah. Oh, duh. <laughs> what am I saying? And you know, also, Snoopo's going to have that time to live for a little bit longer. Naoto's going to have a harder time getting those down tilt up B conversions to kill. Yeah, Snoopo's getting those up, to, uh, up air uh, <laughs> strings. Yeah, also, Fox just loves the stage. Yeah. Oh. You can see. Like you can doing see chip him. damage. Red Team's doing real good chip damage, but right now, Blue Team really has that center stage. Yeah, just poking them with, like, certain, certain tilts. <laughs> These perfect shields from Naoto. Looking real good. Yeah. This man's on point right now, but not on point enough to not his. Oh, almost ran to that four smash from Panda Bear. That was a really ball's dash tech, but we will take those right there. I think it it traded. Or like it clanked, but yeah, he still it got clanked, hit. but he yeah. still got the hitbox out. Oh, Kale puts it online. It looks like Snoopo's doing a lot better job right now than he was in the first game. He's definitely put on a lot of that percent and he's using those uh platforms to his advantage, getting those up right yeah, he's, he's, he's saving that KO punch for like another, for the early stock. Mm -hmm. Is that gonna be it? Oh, oh wow, man. just a forward tilt will take it. Realizing that, you know, after like 30% on any character, KO punch will kill, so he doesn't need to use it on those high percent Hey, yeah, he's going stocks. for super, as you can see, he's just hold, holding that, as you say in Street Fighter, holding that super, holding that, yeah, holding that sure. meter, yeah. For the right opportunity. I like how Panda Bear was trying to go for that bowling ball on the platform. Yeah, he's like, don't run at me, man. Mm -hmm. Look like Brunswick bowling out here. Ooh. Oh my goodness, the Lloyd Rocket coming in clutch right now. Let's see if Dan can make it back. Now nah, that'll be oh, it. Oh wow. That yeah, down smash out of shield from Snoopo taking Dan's stock. Dan right now trying to put on the pressure right now on Snoopo. They're oh, finally that getting that confirmed. Yeah. And they're a stage that probably would have killed? <laughs> right now Dan's trying to just get Pan off stage. Oh, two turns. Ooh, and wow. then double kill coming from Blue Team right there. We take those. Like we, ain't, we ain't having this, man. Right. I'm trying to close this set out. Mm -hmm. Blue Team right now is still looking really dominant and just like holding on to that stage control. Red Team really trying to have, trying to find a way. I feel like Panda Bear's trying to stay back so he can draw his projectiles. And Snoofle's trying to go in, but he realizes he's getting a lot of persona stocks very quickly, so he needs to stay back. Oh, he's going to lose that. Yeah, he lost the, lost all that meter from that one jab combo. Finally getting that downer. There goes the first stock now, Naoto. He's finally getting that, uh, that three turn of the down air. I like how Snoopo's kind of being a little bit patient. He's going for that one-up tilt, shielding. He he sees that Panda Bear's around. He doesn't want to get hit by anything Panda Bear's going for. Yeah, every time he, you know, gets to now, so they have to play that, that footsie game. Mm -hmm. Especially with Little Mac. Yeah, his footsie game is, like, insane. Right. And if you're running too much, you're just going to get... Just gonna get rocked. And doubles is a lot of micro spacing. And Little Mag being so strong and being able to micro space so well, he's a real big, he's a real scary character. To face and, that, in doubles. and that upbeat was with, yeah, just whiffed uh, against Panda Bear. I would have sealed the stock there. Oh, and oh my goodness. Again. Dan going oh. for the hardest to read right there. Panda Bear throwing his teammate out of there. He's like, save yourself, man. Oh my god. Gonna take the stock? Um, I'm not sure. I, I mean, don't like, it's worth it just because of what? That's it. Oh, oh, nah, this faces it just because, um, like pesky uh, villager is such a pesky character, so yeah. You, and you could give you could give little mag uh, for both those stocks and make it a 1v1. And I also feel like if Panda Bear lets go of that stock so fast, he will probably lose it really quickly, being at 148%. And I feel like uh, Fox wouldn't do too, the, too well in the 2v1 mm -hmm. right now. Now's trying to box him out. Mm -hmm. But once again, Panda Bear doing what he does best, and that's just playing on the ledge right yeah, there. Yeah, putting up that wall. He's so good at 2v1 situations. Oh, for sure. Ooh, Ooh. the call out on the dash check actually didn't hit Panda Bear that time. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like I said before, it's it's not that hard for like the one person. Because mm -hmm. the guy of the, the two people have to avoid hitting each other while trying to get to that one person. Right, we definitely saw Snoofle trying to work around Panda Bear, but now Panda Bear realizes that he doesn't have to be wary of where he throws his moves. Because the two people that he's trying to hit are the only two people on stage. Oh, just charging that force. Catching out, so running in, but 
Now I was playing patient, just walking back and forth. Walking in this game is just godlike. For, especially in doubles, man. Like yeah. if, if Max is able to space around and get those forward tilts at the exact length that he needs him at, mm -hmm. it's going to be an easy stock. Now until finally realizing he wants to go in a little bit, trying to see if he can get some hurt boxes. He's hit ball jumps into, into like bears and wood rockets. It works so well because how are you going to contest that, you know? Exactly. Oh, he tried to do some fancy or something. Right, I don't know what that was. So aerials with Mac? Are they actually good? I guess he realized that uh, you know up B wasn't gonna really do much in, he didn't want to in, in trying to kill. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to steal it. Call out right there. Oh, oh yo! Is he gonna finish it off? Nah. Nah, we live it. Oh, try to spike with the turnips. That was sick though, come from Dan. Yeah. Dan loves his he loves his fairs, man. For sure. Fairs and up smash, that's the name of the game. If if like Panda could just get this one sock off of Dan, it's, it's, it's so doable. doable. Yeah. He has that fireball in pocket. Oh, you know, can, that's definitely going to change the time of the game. We can't be like Camp Lazzle over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trying to see, but now it's already with the, the power shields. Oh. Ducking in the corner right now. Oh, oh that was a good call. <laughs> yeah, that fair. was a good mix-up. <laughs> right. Now we got tree up. That's not really going to change the tide of the match. The blue team's just going to stay in that corner that they need to be in. Okay. They, got, they got two minutes. Oh, nice side B. Oh, that was so. It's like, what is, what is Villager do? Yeah, at this point, I feel like they, they realize they don't have to approach anymore, so Panda Bear can't play that ledge game anymore. Uh, Dan's just realizing, he's like, I'm just going to stay back. You know? Oh, that was not That was safe. super ballsy. Why would you go for that? Yeah. Come on. I say, I'll, if you can like a narrow shield and just fade back, that would be, be a better option. Mm -hmm. He's just trying to get that kill on Dan, but he's just ready to block. Oh, my God. See? Oh man, and even if he gets Dan to that percent where like throws will kill, he still has to be super wary because Little Mac's so fast, he can punish that so easily. Yeah. He needs to get a kill with like maybe I don't I'm not even sure what, what uh Villager will be looking for for the kill. That wouldn't be so committal that little Mac could punish. But uh, Pan Bear's not going right now. Mm -mm. He's not looking for any kind of kill, he's just trying to get him the hits he can. We're approaching the one minute. This may be a timeout. First time out time of the day. Already the first set? Oh, not man. like this, dude. Oh, Oh, this is an up smash out of shield. I would probably wouldn't probably kind of panic there. I mean, it's still a good option. Right. So you have this you have like that the, the, the timer percent lead, stock lead. I feel like dash attack for uh little max a little bit staled out, but at this point I think the percent might be high enough that it doesn't oh, matter. He's trying to get that volleyball on both of them. Oh! Oh, oh Yo, he nared, I see, think. See, I thought he I thought villager nared. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Dan uh, now it's like a 2-0. Dan popping off a little bit too. He finally got that nair. But Vandenberg, yeah. man, he was making a run for the money. He was like, if you're going to take this 2-0, you got to work for it, dog. Yeah. Like, I ain't just giving it to you that easy. You're getting the Tims, man. You're getting the Tims. Right. Yeah, <laughs> he's just running right in. That's always – I always hate it whenever you're playing a Mario and they do, like, a dare. And they're like, oh, yeah, actually, I'm just going to go for the Nair real man. quick. Man. <laughs> well, I played, I played Dan in one of the weeklies, and I've been his bracket team for, like, two years, apparently. Mm -hmm. And he finally got that win on me. And, like, in, like, the Mario Ryu matchup, if he just dares, I can't focus it, you know? It's right, just yeah, those multi-hits multi just go straight through it. I mean, like, hey, that's, yeah. that's 